Today's video, I'll be looking at moving in day. So if you're about to step into your new home, then this checklist is one that's tailored specifically for you. I'll walk through some of the essential steps to make sure that your moving in day is as smooth and as stress-free as possible. So to find out more, stay tuned. <laughs> Now guys, before we get into the detail of today's video, we here at DM, we know that buying your first home can be overwhelming. That's why we've created these videos to give you the essential knowledge that you need and help you to avoid common pitfalls. And while we're here to provide you with free resources, our value does not just end with these videos. We are also an experienced team of mortgage and insurance advisors. And we're experts at arranging mortgages and personal insurance from a wide range of lenders and insurance companies and from a choice of thousands of products. So if you find our content valuable, then we encourage you to take the next step. Head over to our website, which is dm.mortgage. There you can book in for a video appointment with a member of our team to look at any mortgage and or insurance options. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Just one click hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. Now, my first tip when it comes to moving day, being prepared is half the battle. So one of the first steps that you should take is confirm all the necessary details with your moving company. At least, I recommend at least a week before the big day. It's about making sure that they've got everything that they need to make that move as smooth as possible. So make sure that you check the addresses and it might seem obvious, but making sure that the moving company's got the correct start and end points is important here. A mix up could obviously lead to some delays. Now my advice as well is to check the size of your load. They will need to know exactly what they're moving. Is it a few boxes and pieces of furniture or are you moving the contents of a four bedroom house? You know, this will help them to plan what size truck they need, how many staff they need as well. Now, another key point that's often overlooked is to check and let them know if there are any access restrictions or another critical point. So for example, if your new home is a narrow street or there's a low bridge or any other obstacles that could complicate the move, then the company needs to know ahead of time because then they can plan the route and if necessary, arrange for a smaller vehicle, for example, to shuttle some of your belongings. So confirming the day and the time of arrival is also essential. You don't wanna confuse things about when they're supposed to show up and make sure that you're all on the same page about what services you expect. And if you need them to help you pack your belongings, make sure that they know this and they're prepared to do it as well. The same goes for loading, unloading and unpacking. Clarify all these details to avoid any last minute understand or misunderstandings because that can again delay things. Now, another point that's often overlooked is insurance. So if this moving company is handling your personal belongings, and that could include, you know, irreplaceable items, expensive items, you want to find out what happens in the event that something gets smashed or damaged to an, an item, you know, and find out if there is insurance coverage to help protect against those eventualities. Because again, you don't want any misunderstandings after an event like that. Hopefully nothing like that happens, but you never know. And finally, talk about your payment terms. So I would be checking, do you need to pay up front or can you settle after the move so that you can plan and budget? Because every company is different. Some might need a deposit, whereas some might need payment plans or accept credit cards, some won't. You know, knowing this stuff in advance can help you budget for the move and avoid any surprises as well. Now, the next step, expanding on insurances, do not overlook this. Make sure that your insurances are in place before moving day. Like I said before, ask about the company if you're using a moving company, their policy to repairing damages or losses during the move. What limits apply to the coverage? Are there any items they won't cover? And if it doesn't provide you with the protection you need, you might need to look at additional coverage. But I want to park that one there and talk about other insurances that you need. So buildings, contents insurance, as well as mortgage protection. So things like life and critical illness cover that are to protect the mortgage debt. These insurances are very important because they're going to protect your new home and your ability to keep up with the mortgage payments in the event of unforeseen circumstances. So typically these insurances should commence from exchange of contracts because this makes sure that you are fully covered from the moment that you are 
legally responsible for the property. And despite common misconception, that is from exchange of contract, not completion. But at the very latest, they should be active by the time completion comes around because it's a safety net that gives you that peace of mind. And that will just allow you to you know, focus on the excitement of moving into your new home without the added stress of pot potential financial risks. So my advice here is don't leave it until the last minute organize your insurances well in advance of moving day. It's a smart move that will safeguard you in your new home. And you know, you might be sat there thinking, oh, it's unlikely that something will happen to me as soon as I move in. Well, I'm telling you now, you couldn't be more wrong. I have seen situations more than once where between exchange and completion, I've got an example where one applicant sadly died in that time period. And that's why I say having protection from exchange of contracts is important because had the surviving person in that scenario not had life insurance to pay that debt, then it would have been a whole big mess, to be frank with you, because the bank would have still expected that debt and the property would have had to be repossessed. Whereas because there was life insurance in place, it meant the survivor had the money to pay the mortgage off and move into that new property mortgage free. They've got a roof over their head. So don't underestimate how important it is to get insurances arranged from exchange of contracts in most cases. So guys, in summary, don't take the risk. Make sure you're properly covered from the get go. Our team can give you advice on all of these aspects completely free of charge. So contact us if you haven't yet got insurances in place and we can give you free advice. Now, my other tip is to make sure that you pack an essentials box. This can alleviate a lot of stress on moving day. So starting with toiletries, having your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your soap, a roll of toilet paper readily available. After a long day of moving, just having the ability to freshen up without searching through loads of boxes can be a very small but significant comfort. So have that available, have a change of clothes as well in your essentials box. And don't forget any medications. In the chaos of packing, it's quite easy to forget these things. And if you or someone in the family needs daily meds, having a day supply in your essentials box can be very, very important. Charges for your electronic devices is another key one. Having a dead phone might mean that you're cut off from important communications, but also moving day, you might need to look things up quite quickly. So make sure that you've always got a fully charged phone. And basic tools like a screwdriver, a hammer, and a set of Allen keys can be lifesavers on moving in day. Whether it's for putting furniture together or making quick adjustments to fit something through the doorway, you know, having these things in your essentials box can just mean that you haven't got to tear through all of your carefully packed boxes when you need things quickly. As a viewer of this channel, I assume that you're considering purchasing a property in the near future. So it's important for you to know that DM Mortgages are an award-winning team of fully qualified mortgage brokers that provide advice to clients all over the UK. Now we spend countless hours making free content for YouTube and other social media platforms to help to give you guys sound and useful information to make sure that you're in the best position to make informed decisions. To support this channel, when the time comes for you to consider your mortgage options, we want you to book a free online mortgage appointment with a member of our fully qualified mortgage advice team. Because without your help and support, keeping this channel going simply isn't possible. Now, we search thousands of mortgage products from high street and specialist lenders to find the right deal for your circumstances. And we also provide a free will writing service to every DM client. So head over to dm.mortgage and book in for a free mortgage appointment when the time comes. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you find the content useful. But for now, let's get back to the video. Now the next tip is about utilities and services. So another very important step in the moving process that requires attention, in my opinion, well before moving day. It's not just about comfort, it's about making sure that things are as smooth and as stress-free as possible. So let's talk about the basics to start with, electricity, gas, and water. These are non-negotiables. Obviously, without electricity, you're literally left in the dark. No gas can mean no cooking or hot water, and without water, 
Well, basic hygiene, cleanliness, obviously you're going to have problems. So to avoid this, contact utility providers, I would suggest at least two weeks before you move because this gives them ample time to schedule disconnection at your current address and make sure that everything's up and running in the new property before you move in. Internet. Today's world, internet for a lot of people is as essential as water and electricity. And the last thing you want is to be stuck in your new home without Wi-Fi, especially if you work from home. So make sure that you again contact providers two weeks before moving day. And I would say that by doing this, it gives you ample opportunity to look at new deals. There might be better offerings that are more favourable than the ones under your current plan. So, you know, it's a good opportunity to look at reviewing these things. And while you're at it, other services that might not be essential necessarily, but are important, might be things like your Sky TV, home phone line, subscription services that require a physical address for delivery. You know, moving's a chance to just look at what services you truly need and perhaps cut down on unnecessary expenses by cancelling subscriptions that you don't use anymore. Or you might be able to find, like I said earlier, more cost effective providers. Now, address change notifications are obviously a big one. And often people forget about doing this. And this isn't just about making sure that your Amazon packages get to you. It's about maintaining the continuity of things without hiccups. So start with your essentials. Your bank needs to know where you live, not just for mailing purposes, but obviously security reasons as well. So make sure that you notify your bank, similarly your employer, pay slips, tax documents, other sensitive information to make sure that that can get to you. Subscription services, while it might sound trivial, you don't want to cause unnecessary headaches if they're not updated. If you're ordering Gusto delivery boxes, for example, you know you don't want that going to your new address in the first week or your old address, shall I say, in the first week. So make sure that you get any subscription services address changed. Your driver's license, obviously it's a legal document that needs to reflect your new current address. Similarly, don't forget about things like your insurance policies. So things like car insurance, life insurance, critical illness, income protection, all of those things should be updated because in the event of a claim, outdated information can obviously delay things. Now, another crucial aspect that you shouldn't overlook, and sometimes this does get forgotten about, the electoral roll. So credit reference agencies will obviously use the electoral register to check your credit score. Lenders will use it. Loan providers will use it to verify your identity. So being incorrectly registered can have an impact, a negative impact on your credit score. And a higher credit score obviously makes it easier for you to get approved for loans, mortgages, and other lines of credit. So make sure that you get that updated. And lastly, my last tip on this point is that I would set up personally mail forwarding. So yes, it does cost you, but it's a safety net that you'll probably be thankful for because if you've forgotten to update something, then at least for a few months, your mail forwarding will act as a catch-all. So it will make sure that anything you've forgotten about still gets redirected to your new property. Now, the last point is take the time to clean. This might sound really obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people overlook this step. So if you've just got the keys to your new place, you're obviously going to be buzzing with excitement. The last thing you want to do is open the door to reminders of the previous owner's life. You don't want mystery stains, dirt, whatever it is. You want that home to be yours from the get-go. Now, if you've got the luxury of time, then I would suggest cleaning before the moving truck pulls up, if you can schedule it in that way, because obviously cleaning an empty house is much, much easier than trying to navigate around boxes or furniture. Again, if you're pressed for time, consider hiring a professional cleaner. Yes, it's an added expense, but if it's going to you know, help your sanity and mean that you can Im immediately start making the property your own, without the added chore of cleaning, then consider that. You know, buying a house is stressful, guys. You deserve all the peace of mind that you can get. And it's always nice to start off with your new home, like I say, without having to worry about what's lurking underneath the fridge. So in summary, moving day, yes, it can be daunting, but with right preparation, it's an exciting beginning of a new chapter in your life. So make sure that you confirm details with your moving company, pack an essentials box, set up your utilities, update your address, 
and there you're setting yourself up for a successful move. Make sure that you get in touch with us. If, like I say, you're still yet to put your personal insurances in place, we can help you and provide you with free advice on looking at lots of different options to help you get that last step sorted. So head over to our website, dm.mortgage. There you can book a video appointment with a member of our team. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.